Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to an awesome Saturday here at Back to Warcraft. My name is Neo and we have two amazing tournaments for you today. Game for third as a warm-up of WFDC Warcraft 3 Forever Double Cup. Lolayet versus Yumiko and WFZ. And afterwards, the great start of Jera Cup 100. Well, this kind of sucks. Oh, wait, it's better now. And <clears throat> I am not alone here today. I got my awesome co-caster with me again. Uh, who is not online yet, but I think he's in Discord. Nah, okay, <laughs> he's not. So I'm waiting for Remo. Uh, he is there, he's awake, he seems to be sober. So... <laughs> Oops, I left. Uh... Um, so, <laughs> yeah, it's gonna be great, man. We have, I think, seven hours of warcraft here for us maybe even more uh, depends on how jera cup 100 is going because that is our second topic of the day the great start of the biggest uh, jera cup there has ever been five thousand eight hundred dollars i think it is now a two-day tournament featuring moon featuring yumiko featuring reprisal allied focus remind happy foggy hawk all the greats are there and the black sheep corrupt, of course. But we're going to start with two and two, as we have followed uh, this tournament throughout this week. I think, yeah, started Monday, continued Tuesday, and uh, yeah, we had the semifinals yesterday. And damn, that match on Goldshire or these matches on Goldshire—they're fucking amazing. Especially yesterday, we have seen necromancers with frenzy. Is that everything you need to know about this? Go check it out on YouTube if you haven't, but of course not here because we're live and uh, we will stay live for the next seven to eight hours. He seems to be so well lovely. Yeah, this uh, it's a game for third, so there's not too much on the line for now, but uh, we will use this as a little warm up. The final will be played tomorrow, unfortunately, at the same time as Jera Cup 100. So we will do a replay cast of Fly and Shishi versus TED and Hainu. Uh, today it's about... Oh, actually just the honor, because both uh, teams will get the exact same amount of prize money. Uh, 500 yuan, which is $75 around. And, uh... Yeah. So it would be cool if you could... Keep the chat in English. Um, I think there are some chat rooms for other languages. Uh, you can find them somewhere uh, there. So I don't really know what's, uh, how that works, but I set it up some time ago. So if you need a different chat room for a different language, feel free to check it out. Um, two and two competition seems to be a little en vogue uh, currently in China. They're playing a lot of FFA. They're playing some uh, fun tournaments. And two and two is also one of their new styles that they're playing thanks to replace.net who provided this especially laofen who's been doing amazing work for uh for warcraft 3 in china they call me the european laofen so he is he's just doing everything he's a streamer streaming basically every day uh providing news for replace.net all the time and now organizing tournaments with the warcraft 3 forever double cup So, uh, yeah, gonna be good. Will Grubby co-cast? I don't know. I asked him. Uh, no response yet. <laughs> I love it when I'm uh, watching VODs and the channel goes online. Yeah, man, life is always is the best, of course. So, is Remo here? Not yet. Dumpster? Maybe he's just joining for Jera Cup. I'm not so sure. So, yeah, of course the main event today is Jera Cup 100. I mean, let me calculate the prize pool currently. I think the crowdfunding stops when the tournament starts. Uh, 354,000 rubles. That is rubles to dollars. Uh, Yep. Almost six thousand dollars. All right. Yeah, it's six thousand dollars on the line here. Holy shit Hype for a week and of Warcraft by friends. I'm not going out today. <laughs> Thank you very much Yeah, I did grocery shopping yesterday and 
the cashier man must have thought that I'm like the laziest guy around because I just got food that I can snack in between casting. So little meatballs, banana, stuff like that. Um, no time to prepare any food the next two days. Best part of weekend is going on Twitch and seeing Back to Warcraft live. Ah, oh, thank you very much. Uh, and also thank you to Roy MD Toulouse, who uh, subbed yesterday. Don't know if you're watching right now, but uh, thanks, man. Much appreciated. Is he drunk every weekend? Well, <laughs> not only the weekends. <laughs> but yeah, um, this might be one of the last casts with Back to Warcraft 1.0. To be honest, I think we're pretty close to completion. What microphone do you have? I use a Samsung Q7. But I wanted to... I really want to get a broadcasting headset. Because I think it's gonna be better. Because if I lean back, then the sound is different. And if I'm going here, it sounds different as well. So if I have a uh, headset again, this will be better for all of us. At least bananas are healthy, yeah. What's back to Warcraft 2.0? Oh, nobody knows. Well, not nobody. Uh, we have in Discord a little friends and family chat. And these guys know what's coming up. But things will change. Things will change. <laughs> so we're waiting for the game. Usually they start on time. Um, we are reliant on Nettie's TV today. <clears throat> Since I thought Remo would be joining, and he always has problems with uh, Netties, if he joins games live, so we're waiting for him. What they spend all your donations on? Uh, yeah, we pretty much. That's that's pretty much true. What Turbo uh, says. That was that was an investment. <laughs> Holy shit. Uh, I never spent so much money in my life on anything. Is that true? Yeah. This is the biggest purchase I've ever done. Back to Warcraft 2.0. It's gonna be great. <laughs> Games will be played one by one or simultaneously. Uh, first round will be played... Uh, in two sets, like four games at a time and then four other games at a time. And... <laughs> Team House. Alright. Game starts, everybody. I would like to keep this to us. You don't need to know how much I spend. Um, okay. Focus and low light in red. Of course, I just know the colors, so I have to... Adjust this. Okay, colors are good. And I wonder if Focus and Lolai know how to play against this. There we go. I need the clock, right? Uh, ah, oh, damn. Get my Puntu up. Okay, clock is up, but we don't have in-game, and I wonder why. Ah, there we go. Alright, everything is set up, and uh, we're ready to go. Finally, some 2-on-2 two two action again after yesterday's semi-finals. Those two were the losers of Please yesterday. Focus on the Lion beating check and 1-0 first, and whoa, look at this! Double Necropolis super fast tech, late hero. Wow, the tech is almost done before the hero starts to produce. That's some interesting stuff. I mean, we have seen weird things of Yumiko. And he goes Blood Mage first. This is already super interesting. A player's force Keeper of the Grove by Laliot and Torin Chieftain. Okay. They are playing the fun strats here today, as it's just for honor. Uh, but this looks like we're gonna have fun today. 
Here, oh, first kill. This is first blood. Double engine of uh, war and huntress. So standard by Laliad. Focus with a fast tag. Super fast tag, as I mentioned. Tier three <laughs> starts before the hero is out. Holy f shit! And uh, so far, Yumiko kind of standard. No barracks first hero. Usually he goes for a mountain king. We have the first time we see Avalanche, by the way. Avalanche, a very cool map for some uh, races because there are two gold mines here and here. And if you put an expansion here, you can double gold mine, uh, double the income. You get double the income from one town hall, for example. Town hall and uh, the orc expansion, of course, works the best. It's okay with undead as well, I think. It's just pretty expensive. Oh, surround already! Lalight and focus starting this year, and of course, losing the Death Knight is not an option, really. Mike muted? No, that's not true. Don't troll me. Banish to save him for now. And can he get it? Oh, he was almost getting out of the surround. But the only damage dealer he has is the blood. Oh my god! Mistake by focus, but here's the next entangle. Banish again! And he gets out of it, man. Banish cancels the entangle, but no. The Keeper of the Grove gets the first blood and hero kills here as the DK falls. And now, fiends and statues. Tier 3 approaching. TC gets up to level 2, which is great. Oh, almost another surround on the blood mage here. <clears throat> and in focus space, no tier 3. He's going for the Spears upgrade. Headhunters, Wyvern, Badriders and Demolishers. So I'm curious what that's gonna be. No Wommel just yet. And the Light, he will just be massing Hunters. I think that's what it looks like. Could be... Ah, no, he's not teching. Otherwise it could be double aura. Well, it is double aura already with Thorns and Endurance, but True Shot is what you really want. It's the double Barracks Demolishers. Okay. Huntress to block and then demolishes to crack this. I like it because usually, uh, as I mentioned the past few days, Yumiko and WFZ, they really shine when they are in late game. And with a dedicated catapult push, this could be great. To interrupt them while teching. Cloak of Flames on the TC. Oh, this is gonna be nice. This is gonna be really, really nice. And Yumiko, yeah, they're playing two entirely different strategies. One is going to be a rush, and it looks like Yumiko and WFZ are going for the expansion now. As, uh, yeah, this will take forever, as you can see. Oh yeah, Clock of Flames is going to be great. He goes for Shockwave first, though. Sacrificial Pit. Destroyer upgrade after six minutes. Okay, Mass Militia now. And it's gonna be the double expansion by Yumiko. Is he checking already? No, he's not. But we see the first two demolishers, and I think the expansion plans are out the window now. Oh, another entangle. This fiend is gonna fall. Crypt Lord second, a uh, third, for Impale of Destiny. But I don't think this is gonna last for long, and I don't think the Crypt Lord will come out here at all. Town portal coming in, I guess, by WFZ, or is it Yumiko with? Oh no, it's just WFZ. So, two catapult push, Huntress are there to block, next town portal by Yumiko, and he got rid of the altar, so no Crypt Lord here. Still militia form for quite some time, and he backs it up with Edge Protectors, nice shockwave, hitting a lot of the militia, and of course, um, the Cloak of Flames will do great here. <coughs> so I wonder how they want to defend this, okay, of course the destroyer is there, but focus is ready. With some headhunters, he got double barracks. No orb. Oh, there is an orb on this one. Mass build on the shop. He really needs the scroll of regeneration. Next shockwave rattling through. That was the last one. Three catapults now. The area of effect is real. But he snipes the headhunters. Which is good, of course. Four catapults. And now the towers are up too. This is gonna be even harder 
for Yumiko and WFZ. There's a lot of peasants who can't do anything right now. The expansion is not set up in the back because he just had no time to do so. Is he teching behind this? No, he's not. He can't build no, footmen, so WFZ is completely on his own here. And this shop didn't last that long. No clarities, no healing anymore. But what is Focus doing with the Headhunters, man? Easy snipes. But the engine protectors are crawling forward. More hunters streaming in. Next shockwave on level 2. It's really good AoE. And this is something completely different from what we're used to see. But he needs... Oh, wow, the shockwaves, man. All the time he runs clarities. <clears throat> he has a mana potion on this against the blood mage, of course. This doesn't work that well. Four headhunters now. It is uh, 47 food for focus, 46 for the light, 49 for WFZ, but only 21. Ridiculous amount of units for Yumiko. And all the shockwave, of course, in 2 and 2, they always hit. And the crypt is gone. No more fiends. He's trying to deal with it with abominations, but I think the damage is just too high. The destroyer, yeah, they can do good against the catapults, but they are for headhunters. Wow, again, the shockwave hits a lot. Second last coil. Is he breaking through this? This Nova was really nice. Two headhunters down. Oh, nice banish to save this. Keeper of the Grove is completely empty. No entangle anymore. Can be dispelled though. And I feel like the Koreans are losing quite a bit. But as long as the catapults and towers are up, this will stay one-sided. Crypt is being built back in the uh, in the back. Uh, built up in the back. Lumber mill gone. And yeah, they can't deliver it to the necropolis. Today I learned. The demolishes man staying true to their name it's crazy how fast focus can reproduce the headhunters oh but he might be breaking through here with three a bombs and focus positioning with the headhunters what is he doing the entire time of course uh, thorns aura is working well against the abominations But he's kind of getting there. Focus is losing a lot, but he has, wow, five again. Still has some resources to his name. Mass repair. Yumiko's only job is to keep the Necropolis alive and work some banish and different mana. I like this positioning by Focus. Hiding the demolishers between the arcane, uh, the, the, the engine protectors. Oh, and Eliot now with mass Huntress again. I don't think the Lich can work against this as he's only level 2. It's just mass tier 1. Um, the area of effect is working great. And can you imagine this with a Crypt Lord with more area of effect? Could have been key. <laughs> Fun game. Really fun game. Is Yumiko still not... He's still not teching behind this. I can't believe it. It's basically two against one with the resources of two. He's not using the area of effect, by the way, or is he? No, he's not. Acropolis is down. And that keeps WFC supply stuck. He rebuilds the Ziggurat immediately. Next target is, of course, the Black Citadel. And he has to move forward with the engine protectors to get some protection. The synergy between Blood Mage and Death Knight is of course great with Siphon Mana. But will this last forever? Oh, sneaky Lyot. Troll Lyot is doing his uh, shenanigans again. Tier 3 tech by focus, of course great for burning oil and for the Berserkers upgrade. Still only three abominations, but two destroyers now in the air. If they have mana, man. And finally, Lich level three. This is also a great boost. 
Shockwave doesn't hit that much, but he just wants to get the statue out of the way to deny healing. And Focus is really slow today with his movement. Of course I understand the feeding, but I think uh, having more teams or something would be better than just feeding. Well, now it's too late, obviously, but I understand the concept of feeding. I've been casting these guys for a few uh, months. Disease cloud coming. How far along is Focus's tech? Ah, oh, still taking some time. No second hero, by the way. Torrent shift in four and a half. And yeah, getting rid of the shops is a really cool move. Especially... With 2-0 upgrade, man, and 3 demolishes, this is so fast. He will be supply stuck again in a while. But WFZ has healed up, thanks to Burrow and the statue. 50 food and 50, uh, 47. Oh, 47 and 47. What's Focus doing? The Lion is kind of fighting on his own. Now the Headhunters join in. Oh, surrounding the Blood Mage. Uh, to finish, he gets away. Okay, Headhunter upgrade now. So waiting for burning oil. They have three auras now, by the way, thanks to the addition of a Kodo Beast. The Beast here is here, by the way. Double shop. And the light has an expansion up. More entry protectors. Close to level four. Uh, five. And there's gonna be an upgrade now. Three, two, one. Boom! This is such a da big damage boost. Plus Berserk. I don't know how long they can hold this. See. Shockwave really doesn't do too much. They break one... Uh, one Entry Protector. I really love Yumiko's banishes. They always arrive when there's a coil coming in. <laughs> they really want to end this quick with Glaive Thrower Edition now. Still no burning oil. Would be great, I think. The air bombs try to break through the Berserkers. There's not much to block. Lalaya is here. Of course, uh, Disease Cloud is helping to a degree in the battle in the in the time between the fights. Do the heroes get dangerous? Nah. Close to four, both. Not really. Trying to rebuild the altar. Moon wells for healing. It looks nice. It's just mass berserkers. Do they want to break Yumiko's base now? I love the position, by the way, here. <clears throat> so, Yumiko still gets income, and I like the move of focus to just kill the town hall to get rid of that gold mine. Then it's gonna be three versus one. WFC is trying to defend this, but uh -uh, it's down and woo! Quad kill! And so he didn't portal at all. A town is under he has to break through this now, but it's nine supply for Yumiko. And now he can't even provide the gold anymore. So now it is two against one. The three apples are breaking through. Of course, focus is gone now and the Lion refrains from fighting. He can't do anything against five fiends and the destroyer without focus. 
Yumiko is out of this game. But the siege is over. A town is a Lightning orb of Anaki Brothel Grove and the tiny Great Hall. So they go back a bit, creep up. Double engine of lore. He had the time to attack even. Are under attack. He knows this expansion is gone. No problem at all. If the heroes would be one level higher, I think he could win this. But no, they don't take the time to expand. Interestingly. Oh, class plus 12. He would love to have a blade master now. Can the Blood Mage somehow retrain to Flame Strike? A player's forces are under attack. 110 supply versus 69. Coil Nova Banish is of course a great nuke. But as I mentioned several times before, the heroes don't do too much. Lolite is expanding here. Combined forces of South Korea joining in, but a pretty good choke here. Oh, okay, it's just too much. What can he do against this? Against all these headhunters. They had 2-0. They have Warsong Battle Drums. They have increased attack speed thanks to Endurance Aura. Okay, the Battle Drums are gone. Level 4 on the Blood Mage. Is he going for a Fame Strike? Yes, he is. It's only level 1, though. And will we see it? Nice Spanish coil combo again. They're really doing this well. <coughs> Dark Ranger third. Okay, they want to get the skeletons running. It's of course a great thing against Berserkers. It's the first one. Okay, now he has to TP out. There's no way. WFZ fought well. Had good positions, but that wasn't enough. Shade scouts the expansion and they're getting ready for the double expo. How much gold is left? 1,500, so yeah, it's a good timing. A little cleaning done by WFZ. One control group of headhunters. <laughs> and another expansion. This is so easy to creep for them. A player's forces are under attack. The keeper of the grove has some great value here because the only thing that can really hurt is area of effect okay you can't do anything against that or normal damage which comes from melee units and against melee units they have town is under um thorn Sora. so that hurts but wfz is playing this well so far But how long can he stand against the double expo? That's gonna be the crucial thing. But they have to speed it up because Jura Cup is in half an hour.
Yumiko has two workers somewhere. I don't know where. A player's forces are under attack. Five year mass triads now. I wonder if they will block each other because triads and berserkers almost the same range. Ah, they are the two workers. Okay, he's trying to get up against this. <laughs> what a fun game, but this is up. One great hall, ten, pe uh, ten peons. The main gold mines are down. That means Lalaid has no income anymore. WFZ is still, well, attack. 100 in. For Yumiko, it's a little like Dota now. Oh, Mana Stone and Tomb of Experience. This is level 5. Nova level 5. Can it turn the game around? I mean, it's 137 supply versus 74. Uh, 47, sorry. 147. A no, 37. Are under right. attack. But there's still a chance, man. Oh! Here comes Flame Strike, and the Blood Mage is saved by Banish again! Well done, Dispel! Is there another Banish? Yes, there is! With 20 HP, so well done! And the Light might be overcommitting here. Here comes Focus, almost level 60 C. We want to see the Shockwaves, man. The DK is in trouble. So much piercing damage and Tangle TP out. But Town Portal's to his own Town Hall here, or to Yumiko's Town Hall, to keep it up, but he needs healing. He has so much mana, he can coil everything. But look at the damage. Just look at the damage and look at the supply dwindle down. Blood Mage is getting chased by one Dryad. Shockwave comes in, level 3. Works the siphon mana though. It's just too much. Level 5 on the Lich. A lot of Nova. Didn't skill it yet. And the Dark Ranger falls too. Perch is coming out from the Keeper of the Grove, which was really nice. Now we have Nova 3. He can't go for the TC. He's level 6. He has re uh, re re Resurrection. And the Lich might be falling. He can't fight through. Yumiko has left the game. WFZ has left the game. And this is 1-0 for Lolliot and Focus after a crazy game on Avalanche. Really cool to see that. After 25 minutes. So that was one opener, right? To an amazing day of Warcraft. And I think Remo's gonna join me, or is here already. Hey, Remo, how you doing? Morning, I'm doing good. Um, I can, sounding weird for me, can you hear me? Yeah, I can, but I can barely hear, it's very quiet. Yeah, something, wait a minute, something's weird here. Uh, this better? Uh, maybe I have uh, tuned you uh, down in Discord. Wait a second. Oh, yeah, M was my I fault. I can definitely up my, up my level. Yeah, and you sound a bit like bad quality. Huh. Like you use a webcam mic or something. Now I can't hear you anymore. <laughs> yeah, wait a minute. Ah, okay. This better? Uh, not really. Wanna try Skype? Yeah. All right. So let's see if this is better. Now I can't hear you at all. <laughs> Ah, Skype is muted. So hey, hey. yeah, 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 yeah. This is better. Oh ho! This is better. Hey, 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 hey! Oh, that's weird. Oh, that's a little oh, too loud oh, now, oh, I think. But oh, I'm gonna oh. tune you down. Don't worry. Okay, hmm. that should be good, I think. 
you just have to talk a bit. <clears throat> okay, I hear you now. Hello? Yeah, this seems to be good. I think the levels are almost equal according to my OBS that I'm using now. Instead of uh, XSplit. So, of course, everybody wants to see your beautiful face. I have no idea how this works in OBS, so I have to figure this out. Might take me a while, though. Um, pretty much. Well, I know what export is like, but you know, like window capture, and then yeah. you select the thingy with thingy. <laughs> oh, dude! But I, I changed nothing. But you know, uh, with those uh, mics we use, we always have it so that we can hear ourselves a little bit. Yeah. Sounds really weird. Yeah, it hmm. still sounds a little low quality to me. All right. I'm going to reboot real quick. Maybe that's going to help. I'm going to be back in two minutes. Wait a second. Uh, just, just a bit. I almost have your Skype window ready. Okay. Just a little second. Uh, da, da, da. All right. You're free to leave. All right. Be right back. Okay. Remo is gone for now, and I fucked up the scrolling text thingy again, but I don't care at this point. Um... We're waiting for Netties. We have two new subs, by the way. Gosu Gohan resubbing for 11 months. I fall asleep every night to you guys' sexy voices from the YouTube videos. BTW Neo and BTW Remo. Thank you very much, Gosu Gohan. Um, been there for a lot, uh, for for a long, long time. Almost a year of subs. Thank you, man. And Gutaman uh, stands to his name. Thank you very much for the first time sub. Yeah, I think Remo used his webcam microphone, but I'm not sure. So, where's my netties? Oh, second game is up. It's Tot Rock. And it's match points for Focus and La Liot. Loading up the game. And then we can start it. Or we can uh, join this. Okay, colors are almost the same. Uh, in game. A player's forces are under attack. The hell is this? Uh, okay. <laughs> This is not how I wanted it to be. The fuck? Our uh -huh. player's forces are under attack. This is better. Yeah, kind of a few bucks by OBS, I think, that I'm not used to and have to find a workaround again. Against. And Remo is calling. Hello! Ah, Hi. that sounds better. Very good. Quality wise. Okay, Remo, how you doing? I'm doing good! Ah. Um, I'm doing fine. I'm 100% ready and sober. How about you? <laughs> yeah, same for me. Uh, the, the game is up, by the way. We are on Turtle Rock. Medi is TV? Yeah. Yeah, same for me. I'm very excited about today. I mean, we've been talking about Jera Cup 100 for such a long time, and it's finally, uh, finally here in 20 minutes. We're gonna start this, and I can't wait to see Moon, to see Reprisal, to see uh, Foggy and Happy, of course, fighting for Europe. Yeah, Happy had a very strong showing in the last uh, Rust Brain Cup. Kind of the only one to hold up the European flag. Uh, I don't think you saw it, if I recall correctly, but uh, yeah, the last few encounters between Europe and Korea haven't gone too well, but that's going to be a time for a little bit later. For now, we're still in the 22. Exactly. Focus on the light in the bottom left. They have match points here to claim the bronze medal of uh, WFDC. 
And they're going for an early expansion here, and I don't think that's the right choice. They should just go for whatever they did before with an early push. Um, because Yumiko and WFZ, they are playing their double crypt tactics again. Yumiko without a barracks. Uh, is it a Mountain King this time? No, it's a Blood Mage again. Cool. The Banish. Yeah, I, tuned, I tuned in to the last game, kind of late, and I saw that Yumiko was missing a base. Yeah. So, <laughs> uh, but I'm that late game, I didn't quite solve it. Yeah, that happens. So good creeping, so or good creep route by Lolai. Interesting with the engine of war here, but he's getting caught, and the blade master is being revealed. Level two for the blood mage already, uh, quite fast. But oh, almost level three for the blade master. All right, we are a little late in the game. Nice banner save, and he got the Katka's pipe of insight. Nice for the heroes, and they want to get the blood mage. Sandwich him here, but no, he should be safe with another banish. Are under trying to save the fiend here. Don't know that it's gonna be quite enough. Uh, I, I heard a fiend dying here. Where did it die? There's bam. Uh, there the creeps. Oh, the creeps killed one, and uh, focus killed one too. So that was a good opening for the Koreans. Wow, the mana items on the demon hunter. Of course, demon are one of the worst heroes to get it on, but later on for second hero, pendant and pipe, absolutely amazing. Where do you see the pendant? Ah, it's on, it, it's, it's on the blade, blade master now. Okay. Yeah, that's absolutely tremendous for the shadow hunter that to come. I wonder if they go for serpent wars this time. We've seen this from the uh, Chinese knight of orc team. Are under attack. But so far, the Koreans were reliant on hex and, and uh, heal wave. Right, now the Chinese scout the expansion and. Um... Your point definitely is valid, like, why would you want to go for an expansion early if you know that kind of a push can be coming? But at the same time, at the moment, there's basically only under units. There's nothing the human has to offer yet. So this might be a good time for the expo to be established. But of course, they need to get over there to save it. And they may have to rebuy a TP here on the orc side. Yep, but it's only fiends, so they have some time. Piercing damage versus buildings, nah, not the best, but the skeletons are providing some damage. Is he town falling now? Like they don't even want to save it though. They're like, all right, we're gonna let this go. Yeah. If we get the red camp in exchange, interesting. There's a lot of gold that they lost here. It's like 350 for the expo plus two wisps at the very least. But okay. Tome of experience in crystal ball for the shadow hunter, which means immediate level two. So we have hex and a player's forces are under must be attack. heal wave, right? Otherwise, it would have been Serpent Wards first. Yeah, it's here, Wave. Unfortunate. I love to see the little serpents going up. Tier 3 tech halfway done for WFZ. And Yumiko on Tier 2 already. This time he has a Sanctum for Breakers. Usual combo. By the way, during the GCS days for 2 and 2, didn't Yumi play MK first? Yeah, uh, until today he played MK as well. But uh, oh, okay. Mountain King second now, so the nuke is gonna be super overwhelming. Banish, Bolt, Coil, Nova. The uh, if they hit the timing with that, not necessarily that easy, not that hard either. But of course, MK first has to get level three, but when he's there, yep, it's uh, absolutely gonna hurt. So, of course, the Kodo, which is twice as good in two and two as it is in one on one. We have talents for the Night Elf. Yeah, on Turtle Rock, they always play talents. Ah, oh. oh, isn't that strat with a lot of archers as well? Uh, should be the case, yeah. But I think this game he doesn't have any archers right now. Uh, he has no... Oh, he has one engine of war, but yeah, not too many archers. Maybe he's just focusing on talents this time. Because what can really they really do with piercing Really good experience though for the... For the Koreans. Close what do you say? Uh, really good experience for ah, the Koreans. Yeah. Close level 3 on all their heroes. Yeah, they got both red spots, so... Yeah. Really well done. And we see breakers. Too bad. I was hoping for some modded teams. <laughs> well, this th th uh, they will come later. Pretty sure about that. A town is under siege. So far, he's not going tier three, and he's not going workshop. But I bet my ass that this is gonna come if they have the time. Good. Go on to focus his base. He's supply stuck now, and will be for the longest time. 
The light is coming in. Will they get the great position with the Orc in front and the Talons behind that? Looks like it, but the Kodo suffers. Panda and Brewmaster is coming in. Drunken Haste, Breath of Fire inbound. Booyah, there we go. Uh, the Kodo is gone and the, he saves the statue. So good fight for WFZ so far. But the Fiends, man, they will suffer and WFZ is portaling out because of that. And Yumiko. And TB will have to be used on the human side as well. Who basically has nothing anyways, but saves what he has. Yeah, I mean, looking at that army, Talons and Walkers, don't you need a lot of destroyers against this? And in that fight, he only had one statue. Yeah. So he's still going for... He's not going for mass destroyers. When you look at the slaughterhouse, you can see one statue, and after that coming is an A-bomb. Yeah, I wonder what the A-bomb is for, because he will have a good amount of breakers to block with normal damage. Well, it's it's a better blocker, but I think Man. Turtle Rock is so narrow that you don't need too many blockers. Yeah, I feel the same way. New expo coming up now for Lawliot. It is natural. But I wonder if they really have enough anti-spell casting here with the Swirling, with the Fairy Fire, with the Cyclone. Because the Breakers, they can't steal the Cyclone. That would be kind of crazy. Ah, indeed, they are Master. Well, they should be Master. Yes, they are. A and they have a Katka's Pipe, so a lot of mana regeneration. Yeah, it's a dream. Stormy times on Turtle Rock. I wonder how much the increase here is from the Pipe. Must be at least like 70% regen for the Talons. Oh, double Chimera Roost or Chimera Roost. <laughs> oh, good. I didn't even see that. Oh, man. Well, they're not super efficient against anything. There's still no more teams coming. But there's no anti air except the Fiends. I wonder if he has web. Yes, he has. Yeah, but the, the damage output from the Chimeras is yeah. uh, just so high naturally that usually you have to kite against them and you, when you're walking back all the time and you have to fight against Ensnare and Hex. I can see them working well. I mean, most importantly, I think they're flying units, so you know, they don't block themselves yeah. with everything else. True. But it looks like Focus and Lolai are feeling so confident here, double expanding mm -hmm. on the back of the turtle. They're not feeling, fearing anything right now. And they got at least one heal scroll. Is he waiting for the second one? I don't know. Maybe invul potion against the nuke. Blade Master scouts this. He has an invul potion already. Heal scroll for WFZ. None for Yumiko, if I see this correctly. Nope. The light got to the other shop. And okay, town portal, beast scroll. He has quite some items to use. And still no workshop, not even a blacksmith, so maybe you're right and we don't see more teams. Especially this game, I really don't think they have the time because of course the Expos are coming up <clears throat> and the Mortar teams really do need that tier 3 upgrade to reveal their full potential. This would be a great fight now for the Chinese to take, but Lolite is certainly not looking for a real engagement here. Maybe putting in a free, bit, little bit of free damage. Oh, and focus. Out. Nice and split push. Focus coming on the other side, but Yumiko was defending this. So well defended as well. Where are the Chimeras? He is ready, he can go up, but he has only ah, 400 gold, that's the first two for sure. And counter expansion by WFZ. Hmm, so of course then still only gonna be three versus four gold mines. The 110 supply push is coming for Yumiko and the undead. Two abominations, so now you see the problem. They can't really reach. Okay, now he's creating some space. But he's getting backstabbed by focus. Oh, I wonder if this sandwich is gonna work for them. Lalite is coming from the north with uh, no Chimera just yet. Late Master has no mana anymore, has to be careful. Cannot go into Windwalk and blocking is very easy on uh, Turtle Rock, in, especially in 2 and 2. Siphon Mana, Stormbolt combo, but gets another Breath of Fire out. But the damage, man, he's blocked! The Panda goes down! I thought this fight side off really bad, but these Breakers seem to be untouched. The first Chimera that was in the game was sniped out immediately, but the Undead Forces have dwindled pretty severely. Now the Lich might be getting focused here with the Ensnare, but a Coil reaches him. There's also an invul on him if he should need to use it, which he does right here and now. 
So the Knight of Force is not really too strong represented, but it seems to be enough for the Chinese to repel or to push back this defense. As the Orc has to TP out, I really didn't think this was going to go so bad. As you said, with that sandwich coming in. But good fight. Very good fight for the Chinese. Yeah. And now they slaughter of the Tree of Life. The Great Hall is still up. So at least they have that, but the counter expansion is up and running as well for the undead here. So it's three gold mines versus three. And they have a, a good supply lead. Level four on the DK, level three on the Blood Mage, two and two on the second heroes. That's good experience. And with the normal damage, I think they can kill the Great Hall as well. It's only one Chimera and there's Web, so... Second one is coming, but won't be there in time. Right, here we go. This time we have a better positioning. The Talons, uh, as it turns out, casters should stand behind the front line and not create a uh, double envelopment. Shadowhunter being siphoned, but he has a lot of mana here with a pan of energy. The Chinese team now for the first time really, uh, looking really confident. Moving forward, the Breakers are still standing fairly strong. One single Chimera. They're strong, but they need to have decent numbers and they need to have something to block for them. The kiting game isn't really happening. They're content enough to fight this as it is. MK is getting closer to level 3 here as well. We have Vanish against the Blade Master here to not suffer too, many, too much damage from the critical strikes. And even a Flame Strike coming in now for the style points. I like it. I think it was only level 1 though. One more bolt coming out towards the Demon, but he's still pretty healthy. He has a heal pot here as well. More and more Cyclone. And now with this, the Koreans might be driving this back finally. Looks like it. Level 3 on the Lich though, and he has more Nova. Walker is gone. I w There's still a lot of Breakers though, and they don't have too much against this. The Grunts almost all dead. The Cyclones are working well. Next Flame Strike is coming in, kills the Grunt immediately. The Heroes have to carry against the Breakers. Panda is coming in, Drunken Haze, Breath of Fire, so missed chance on the Fiends. And the Reinforcements, man, they are working well for Focus and Lollight. So double Town Portal out, and level 4 on the Demon Hunter. 37. Really cool two and two. It's a lot of it's a lot of back and forth. Yeah. Oftentimes in two and two, we have one big engagement. Yeah. Boom! They crush them, and then it's over. It and is, uh, yeah. this is the specialty from Yumi and the undead. The human towers defend the undead base. This is what we're seeing at the expansion right now. Eighty-two food for the Koreans. One hundred and fifteen for the Chinese. A lot of that stuff is hurt. Two destroyers. 4-4 four, four heroes, 3-3 three, three on the oh. second heroes, but they're coming the Towers now. aren't done yet. Yeah, exactly. Good timing. And the panda, he's looking for them. What? Can the Acolytes repair those buildings, by the way? Oh, no idea. <laughs> I don't know either. <laughs> I'm really no 2-2 two two player. Chat, let us know, please. I, I wouldn't think so, though. Focus's expansion is still up. The Light is trying to go for his third expansion, which didn't work well. Past few times. Only one Chimera. But isn't their biggest problem like the breakers? To break through that? I don't know, I think breakers are... Uh, always decent, but they fall off pretty hard the higher the heroes get. Might not necessarily be the case for the Panda, but Demon Hunter and SH and Blade Master right click and healing and stuff. Yeah. True. Because they have absolutely no upgrades, the Breakers. Here we go again, though. Oh, and with tower support. That's gonna be interesting. Web immediately against the Hippogriff, so the Destroyers should be safe for the longest time. The Chimeras are being webbed, but in a gr oh, okay position here for sure. At least the one. Now the second one is down immediately. The Panda is being storm bolted. Is there Cypher Mana coming? Yes! Oh, the Breaker hits them as well. Anti-Magic Shield coming in a little late. Towers are being upgraded. Second Chimera is down. So the big damage output seems to be gone, but of course there's still Demon Hunter and Blade Master combo who can deal with Fiends. And you can see it. One dies, second one dies. Cyclone works against the, uh, the Death Knight, so calls are a little too late. Kodo is out, but the, uh, the aura is still working. And level 4 on the Shadow Hunter, still a hell of a lot of mana. Uh, as he runs out of mana, the shop finishes right away, buying clarities, buy, buying mana potions, and with a pen, and that is such great synergy on the second hero for the Orc. Now we're seeing finally the kiting game here happening for the Chinese as their numbers start to dwindle, but everything's kind of hurt here for the Koreans as well. Still the right click with the orb, of course, a lot of focus fire potential killing one more grunt, but also losing a fiend on the way out. 
And this is another engagement that I would say goes slightly in the favor of the Koreans, but not a landslide by any means. Exactly. And if you look at the supply, it looks a little grim for Focus Sentinel Lyad, but they can produce a little faster, I think. Uh, but they can push through these towers since there's no chimeras anymore. I think he's not reviving them or rebuilding them. Main gold mines are about to expire, only 1000 gold remaining. Then, of course, great advantage for Lolai, who can use his Tree of Eternity to walk up to the head of the turtle. Which is pretty exposed, though. Um, yeah, as the expansion for WFC is so close. And yeah, Tree of Life is finished, they go for the attack. And this is a big one. They have to win this fight, kill the expansion, because they can't play two base versus one. That is just too much to ask for. Hippo's flying in again. Web will once more be working. The destroyer seems to have not fallen on a single one this game. DK way far in the back. Doesn't want to get burned. Doesn't have the mana right now anyways to use any spells. This uh, Catgas pipe, of course, being so incredibly powerful for the Korean team. And the TP out has to come again. The Koreans are more than satisfied with this because they do keep their expo alive. That's six town portals in the past three minutes, I think. That's so much gold that is down the drain. Focus is expanding. Lalayat has the Tree of Eternity. That should win them the game in the long run. Or did they save some gold? No, 400 here. Tier 3 tech by Yumiko with 300 gold remaining. And a blacksmith, Remo. Yeah, the mortars, they're coming. It's going to be their last ace up their sleeve. But oh man, they're going to have to do so much damn work. The Undead is basically going to build nothing else anymore by the looks of it. Just going to give it all over to Yumiko. And the mortar teams are supposed to do the job. Low on lumber, by the way, is the human. The Undead is also pretty low on lumber. But that shouldn't be the issue here. The issue is going to be the three gold mines because we already have two established for Team Korea. And another one on the bottom left is coming up as well. And then it's just going to be a numbers game, bro. Yeah. I would love to see a op of Venom, by the way, on the Blade Master. That would be pretty cool. Lots of raiders, by the way. A hell of a lot of raiders. Yeah. The last two, uh, two days of this cup, I saw plenty of grunts. Like, a full control group of grunts, except uh, 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 instead of raiders. But maybe it's time for the siege damage. Maybe they want to kill the buildings. And this seems to be the case. Does he have pillage? Can you check on that? Oh, well, technology... Yep, Pillage is researched, so he gets gold from attacking. And of course, with so many raiders, uh, this base is going to disappear quickly. Trying to set up a flank again. Uh, I'm not so sure that they want to do that again. Didn't work out too well the last time. All the heroes. Right, teams are in production. I don't know if we have fragmentation shards yet. I guess we can check that out. At technology. Yep. Um. No, not yet. That will take some time. Uh, and tier 3 is not finished, so that's the answer for you. <laughs> so many peasants still, by the way. Oh, yeah. But they are from the gold mines, so... Yep. Expansion for focus, the second one is finishing. And now it's hard to tear it down. They don't have too much against towers themselves. Will he sacrifice the raiders into it? Looks like it. No spirit link on them. Or at least on the majority. Okay, now it is. But they're coming from the south, as it looks like. Are they gonna sacrifice this base? Wow, that's their last income. Yeah. Um. Alright, bye bye. That's gonna be four gold mines versus zero here in a second. Well, we have uh, mortar teams now. <laughs> These are gonna have to be the best mortar teams we've ever seen, <laughs> though. The player's forces are under attack. The panda is an orb, by the way, but not the blade master. Uh, the demon hunter as well. Just uh, he says, no, no, no orcs get my orb. <laughs> Buys them whenever they're off cooldown <laughs> <laughs> and sells them immediately. Yeah. <laughs> Is he gonna rebuild the base here? I, have, I think that's a losing strategy. I think they have to attack with like their mortar teams and then kill three bases in a row. Yeah, it's gonna Easier be Easier said than done, man. The Tree of Eternity is in the uh, upper 
part of the map. So it is four running gold mines now. They but can we have pretty five... quickly tear them down. Though. Yeah, we have five mod teams. About to be nine. Oh wait. Uh, eight. Okay. No, first, actually. first no, eight. expansion oh, down, three to go. Does he have fragmentations now? Dude, if they make this yes. happen, the DK is level five, by yeah. the way. And, and the, they have the fragmentations. The is incredible. Vanish, Colonova, Bolt is going to deal like 800 damage or something. Two down, two to go. That was so fast. And Focus's expansion in the south is being attacked by Acolytes and Ghouls. <laughs> <laughs> Holy shit, man! Are they really turning this around with modern teams? That would be what an epic comeback, man! No TP, by the way, on the Chinese side anymore. For the Koreans, we do have one on the Orc side and one on the Night Elf side. Oh, there's one Chimera there. You really don't want to get that wet. Oops. Alright, but it's gonna be a base race now. We, by the way, have a lot of 4 MK. Don't really think that's gonna make the biggest difference. Alright, one expo to the bottom left has been rendered useless. Basically, only one running base. Oh, but where's the building, bro? What do you mean, they need, to, they need to make some buildings. Oh, yeah! The entire. Oh, he sold the buildings, right? WFZ sold the buildings to get uh, the best army possible. And now they have. it's a base race. Huh? Current resource. Yumiko can build some farms. Oh wow, well, what a crazy game. <laughs> it's about the bronze medal. Lolite's base is, is gone as well. The gold for the Nidal is pretty useless right now because he's of course super supply stack. I guess he could give it over to the Orc though. So there's still value there. Yeah, but Focus has 600 gold on his own. Yeah. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven buildings left. Is he building something? Does he have beyond uh, peasants? Yes, he does. Ah, there's the farm. And on the other side, <laughs> focus with a great hall in WFC's base. Lake Master got level 5, by the way, from all the ghouls and acolytes. <laughs> That's not too bad. Another level up. Level 5 for the Blade Blood Mage. I imagine it's level 3 Siphon. Yeah. That's a lot of mana steel. What a crazy game. Focus is building new great halls across Shouldn't the map. Shouldn't they have just defended at some point? Like, you know, you can let two bases die, but don't you want to defend the other two? The second last building is going Call down. Oh, Nova banished! He's dead! Blademaster's dead! <laughs> he can kill the altar now! He doesn't have the resources or the supply to get it back! <laughs> yeah, the supply is the issue. Hey! Supply is the issue, but it's only one building remaining yeah, for Yumiko. We have one single farm. He yeah. has money for another one, though. He's surrounding it with the peasants. <laughs> <laughs> Everyone wants to get inside. Yeah. This is like the Playboy Mansion right here. Under siege. Can they? Oh, they have four Chimeras with Corrosive Breath. But there's Banish, there's Bolt, there's, there's Web. Web. Wow, is Focus crazy. is down to... For our buildings, our light is building some buildings as well. Oh, what a mistake with the blade master! What was he even doing there? I, don't I know. guess just scouting. scouting. Yeah, scouting, but Did, he didn't, didn't expect with. Yeah. So buildings everywhere, and Yumiko is protecting this like I don't know his own eyes. Keeps the A bombs up there. He needs Where the, the fiends there, I guess. Where are the peasants going? Are they gonna sell something to all? Oh, oh, the farm's exposed! Bro. Oh no! Oh, super exposed! The chimps, they're coming in from the north! Oh no, out of position! They're out of position, they're getting distracted! They know it's the last one, but they can build another one! There's another farm coming in the bottom left! This is not the last building! There we go, two more! <laughs> Holy shit! And we have a big fight now! Okay, tell me about losses here. They lose like two units plus two TPs. Oh, can they get the destroyers? No. The light is still mining. Focus is still mining. <laughs> Unbelievable game. If they, what's, what's the items looking like? 
So if they sell all of their items, they can build a new base. Is that worth it though? I mean, uh, Team China. Very hard to say, man. I think they can win the fight in a good position. They have supply lead. They have one hero more. Yeah. They have great hero levels. Thing is, the mortar teams, if they're in a good position, will never be reached. Well, yeah, chimeras. And they yeah, I mean, they need to be not next to the forest. It's hard to do, though. Yeah. Boy, oh boy. What a freaking game. Something is wrong with the sound, people say. It's really bad. I don't know. I didn't change anything. I have to look it up after the game, I guess. There's the shade, scouting things out. Focus decided to get a dust, by the way. I mean, they do have continuous income, I guess. Dust isn't the most expensive. Town is under siege. And he misses. Oh no! Second time we got him. Got the shade now. All right, this place is super dead ski. Eight mortar team with. Mother teams with fragmentation shots, that is not to be underestimated. Yeah. Do they know that it's only... Oh, they are building the base. Yumiko oh, is rebuilding. Oh, they're building the base. Did they sell everything? I think so. They did. They sold two heal scrolls and everything but the orb. They have a... Um, boots on the mountain. Oh, well. check it out. This shade scout so important. Oh boy. To the left. To the left, to the left. <laughs> Oh, but attack. the base is exposed. Can they do the damage in that time? Chimera's a cancel it early to get the resources back. He doesn't do it. They Breath don't of fire. Cancel it. What? And he I'm portals mistaken. out. I think he could have just gotten the farms with right clicks. I think so too. Oh, they got two destroyers here. The TP out again. I'm playing it safe. And of course, the Koreans can afford to drought to, here, to, you know, what do I want to say? To lose some resources, yeah. because they can reinvest them. There is absolutely no income. Uh oh, Focus is being caught off guard. Like, he will lose everything, most likely. If there's a good blocker line, going for the Shadow Hunter first. The uh, Spellbreakers are blocking this. It's really good. So trying to go for this round of the Shadow Hunter, but he escapes. And maybe Focus is pulling a Houdini here, saving so many units. Oh my god, what a huge mistake. They could have gotten half the army, and now the light is pushing towards the farms again. And oh, he has one more. <laughs> <laughs> he can build a few more scout towers. He has one more. Late Master's back! Yeah. If they move up to the gold mine, build scout towers along the way, and kill that gold mine, they're gonna have no more income. <laughs> it's cool, they, 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 have... they cancel the buildings all the time to rebuild them back. when they move on, so they always protect that building. Two water teams getting caught, that's not good. The panda invisibly, by the way. Yeah. Stalking. Late Master 5. And, uh, 17 six. gold. For the Chinese. One farm, two scout towers. I think the scout towers are history in a bit. What a game. Oh my! He's revealed! He's revealed! He has Arcane Sentry! They can see the panda! <laughs> he doesn't realize it! If they're fast enough, they might get the kill. He's moving out of range though. He's moving back into range. Lol. That has to be the TP, of course. The town is under siege. But, uh... Okay, Focus oh. wants to do this alone now. Oh, no! Here comes the cavalry! The air cavalry going for the shadow hunter again. They want to get rid of the uh, healing as fast as possible, but corrosive breath just focusing on the buildings, and there's only two left here. But weapons coming in. 
How much units can they kick? There's the Chimera dead. The Mortar teams, man. So many, so much damage, but the Raiders are kicking this building, and that's it! And Focus and La Lion are getting the second place in this tournament. Holy shit, that game. That was a lot of fun. That was super cool. Exactly the kind of stuff we want to see out of 2-2. Two two. Back and forth engagements, long fights, big fights. That was really cool. Indeed. Um, okay, where's the static stuff coming from? Yeah, you're really scratchy for me. For you too? Okay. Yeah, super ultra scratchy. Okay. Uh, I'll go into a break before we go into Rust Brain, uh, into Jera Cup 100, and I try to fix it as soon as possible, so we're gonna be right back in a few minutes. <laughs> 